Greetings folks, Rod Machado here. Have you ever wondered why the minimum flight visibility for a VFR flight in today's airspace system is one statute mile in Class G airspace? One mile is not a lot of visibility for VFR flight, especially when you consider that the minimum visibility for basic non-precision instrument approaches is one statute mile. Well, it turns out that the historic civilian aviation regulations enacted in the early 1920s were based on the experience of meteorologists and airmail pilots, mostly airmail pilots. These early aviators were the folks who, in open cockpit biplanes, followed railroads across the country when the visibility was very low so as to deliver the mail. This worked fine until the railroad entered a tunnel resulting in the pilot's demise due to a bad case of, you guessed it, tunnel vision. Ultimately, the one-mile figure was chosen as the lowest practical limit for visual separation, allowing pilots to see a 10-foot high obstacle at a slant range of one-half to one mile under average lighting conditions. It also aligned with human visual acuity. You see, at one mile, a pilot could detect an approaching aircraft silhouette or its aircraft navigation lights against the horizon with 10 to 12 seconds warning at 120 mile per hour closing speeds, the typical closing speeds of aircraft at that time. Lower visibilities, such as one half mile, were deemed unworkable because, well, they resulted in a dramatic increase in fatal aviation accidents. So now, you know.